Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're back in our day before fix sort of series where we try and uh, basically recreate most of the mechanics and fix a lot of the mistakes they made throughout that process. Um, this is the end of week one. So we have 51 weeks left to go. I said I'd do all of this within a year. And uh, I said I'd do one episode a week, but I bought, this is episode three. So a little bit ahead. So we've got a little bit of wiggle room. So that just kind of shows in a week kind of how much I've done. Um, obviously, I'll show you the sort of extra bits I've done this week uh, to finish off. Um, but I thought what would be kind of fun is when we kind of do these sort of end of week recap videos or, you know, however we do them throughout the, the, the months to follow, um, it would be kind of cool to update you on how much money I've spent. Uh, and I thought, what better way to show you this than to get Pat to show us exactly how much money we've spent. I'll give the wheel a final spin. Well, that's going to give me a letter. The puzzle will have five seconds to solve it. Vowels worth nothing. Consonants worth nothing. What a... Um... I'm joking. I've spent nothing. I've spent absolutely nothing on this, uh, which is great. Uh, so all of this has been kind of curated from a variety of different places. Uh, for example, the animations have come from places like Mixamo, the Marketplace, uh, and just various other locations um, on the internet. And I've just repurposed them for this project. Uh, also, uh, the icons, they've come online from PNG. Uh, it's like PNG website where you can download a few icons for free. So, um, yeah, a lot of kind of, it's taken a little bit of leg room. That's kind of what's taken most of the time. But um, thankfully, I can finally show you uh, exactly what I've been up to. Okay, so in our project, um, I have basically been working. You'll, you'll notice there's lots of different animation things in here. If I go into the characters, I've even got a, a whole folder just for uh, mannequin Mixamo animations and, and things like that. I've also got like my unique pistol animations and all that sort of stuff. So lots of cool, um, cool animations I've been kind of finding and using and, and kind of uh, getting them to work together in, in a way that we can make look really cool. If I bring up my... I, I don't know if I covered this last time. Um, so I'm getting our pitch in a direction. I had to custom grab that. And um, if I go into our locomotion, wherever it is, Anim Graph, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you can see here where uh, I've now basically... Where I started blending the walking and the crouching together um, to create our lower body pose we now have an upper body pose which i'm caching and i'm using a separate um move type so we had our movement type but we had our upper movement type so this will control full body movement when we're walking with no weapons out or anything like that i've also gone ahead and added in melee pistol and rifle animations and we just blend all that up together in a very fun way. I have also had to set up aim offsets for every pose, um, which was fun to, to, to try and do. That was not easy. Um, but in the end, we got there. Uh, I had to make some custom animations for the pistol because basically I found the problem I had was... Um, Free stuff only gets you so far. Like, you can get near enough all the animations you need, uh, probably from Unreal itself, uh, for free. And they'll get you so far. So, like, they'll they'll give you the basic one direction, uh, one dimension walking. And they don't tend to give you a lot else, basically. They, they kind of make you work for hard for it. Or some places will give you you know 90% of what you need and you'll be missing just the 10%. So you kind of have to hunt high and low to get everything that you need. But I feel like I've done a pretty good job and um you know working in third dimension just you know three dimensions in terms of movement makes everything just so much harder. But uh if I show you what I've got so far so you can walk Backwards, left, right, all that sort of stuff. And it looks kind of fluid. You can do the same with crouching. Like you can, you know, move around. And it's smoothed enough that it looks kind of realistic. Now, I've set this up on button press. This isn't replicated yet. Um, 
this was just purely for testing purposes to make sure the animations actually worked. If I press one at the moment, I go into like a melee state and we can now melee attack. It will kind of switch between different types and I've made it in a way that it's, um, it flows enough that sometimes you kind of get these kind of combo attacks. I'm going to try and make one appear. Uh, come on, you gotta, you got to hit it at the right time. There we go. we got a combo attack. And you can do this in crouch as well. So you can crouch attack and you can stand. And you can flick between the two as you're doing it. It will um, it will still continue to play. We also have pistol animations. And you can do these in crouch. Um, we can walk around um, and aim up now. Now, there is a second delay on the aiming. And I thought that was quite a nice little touch. Because... Uh, it means you're not snapping to that point, you know, and, and that's realistic, right? Because if I was holding a gun up here, a heavy gun, I'm going to have to bring that down and it's going to take me time to aim in that direction that I want to aim. So um, there is a kind of level of, of time smoothing between the, the two. There is also rifle animations and we can aim these rifle animations up and down as well and kind of get a good aim at stuff. Um, and again, this all works in crouching and um, yeah, all good. I've also added in some turning animations so that it doesn't look so horrible. I don't like the crouch ones as much, but um, it's not as bad as it was. But yeah, it, at least it's, they're in there and I can always update the animations down the line. When I get sick of the, looking at these ones, I can find you know, some other ones. But I like the turning animations. If I bring this other um, character in here, oh gosh, you should be able to, oh, if I could, if I didn't block it, that would be nice. There we go, better. Uh, I can turn and you can see the characters turning as well uh, in place. And if I get my gun out, it's all working. The only thing that's not working is the aiming down sights. That's because again, as I said, it's not um, replicated yet, like as you can see, uh, if I attack, it's not attacking on the other player's character yet. And I can also fire as well, I can also reload my weapons too. Again, all of this isn't replicated yet, it will be. It's super simple to do, um, I just need to um, actually do it, basically. But um, yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me, very, very good. I'm actually very pleased with how this has turned out as well, uh, it's all working as I as I wanted it to um, as I say it's just replicating those few bits uh, so that the uh, enemies can or our other players can see that happening <clears throat> and then um, we can start getting into some you know funner things now I've spent like a week on animation alone um, and you know that's not me working eight hours a day that's me working like an hour or two every other day you know it's not it's not me working every day um so in that mindset this is probably taking me about maybe a day maybe two days to accomplish um which in the grand scheme of things for spending no money and spending probably two days of hard work um you know not bad and most of that was me just finding animations so had i bought the animations like bought a decent pack for like a i don't know 99 pounds or a hundred dollars or whatever um i'd have had all those animations at my fingertips and i could have done this in probably a couple of hours you know it's just setting up blend spaces and, and making them talk to one another um so so yeah, not too bad. And then obviously we've got the HUD as well, working in game as well. So, and to, to get the, um, so I want to talk about this for a second, wherever it is. Uh, got to find it first. It's on my event graph. In the MVP, I followed this tutorial from Matt Asplay. I think it's Asplay. Matt Asplay. Uh, it's a very old tutorial, bear in mind. But uh, I found that if, you, if you're following along, his, one of his turning in place animations, this works perfectly fine from within the um from within the anim bp the only thing you need to get is a turn value sent through and um so if we create a turn variable in here and we go to the third person character's camera look input find the left and right and then create a uh we can basically pass it through 
very similar to how we do our um wherever it is it's up here uh similar to how we do our movement and like passing through uh the movement type with a set uh notify we can literally do the same thing with that turn variable and just set it as that that turn variable from our NMBP. Very simple to do. And um, you can then put all that code within your um, uh, oh gosh. I shouldn't do these things while I'm on a video. You can then literally set that within there in that set notify and then it automatically updates this um, when it's used. Um, and in turn you can basically replicate that pretty easily. Um, so very, very easy to do. Um, and then you just need a, for the aim offset, it's literally just, uh, cause we don't have the access to one directional uh, offsets anymore. It's just a case of um, setting this up. I, I, I set both up cause I was testing it, but you just need the, um, the horizontal axis. Um, and set it to minus 1990, wrap the input, 0 0.5 on smoothing, that's how you get that kind of slow effect. If I set it to zero, it would just snap, which I didn't really want. Um, and then you just put your animations in here, and obviously by doing this for every single one of them, um, oh, I lost it now, where am I? You can literally just pass it through in here, and it will just automatically do it basically for you. You have to connect it up to your idle, um and your centered animations but realistically uh this was actually very easy to do and i think i have just the shotgun and i could add more to this by the way so if i wanted to have um different animation types so like i've got a kind of baseball bat or a uh katana sword kind of swing at the moment or a baton or you know something along those lines is how my animations are set up now but if I wanted to add in a different type of melee attack, so for example, if I wanted like a knife stab or a two-handed swing, I could do different melee poses using this and uh, just create aim offsets for them. Uh, and you can create the aim offsets yourself. You can use just an idle animation, create a secondary idle animation and just call it aim offset, idle aim offset center, and then create your different uh, animations from that because they just need to be one frame animations um and it's it's very simple to do um once you once you know how to do it because i didn't know how to do it before once you know how to do it it's very simple the only thing i haven't added in at the moment is prone because i know the game didn't originally have prone i don't think um and that will just create a complete and other sort of different form of problems <laughs> So I, I can understand why people don't add it in. Um, so uh, that's kind of a decision I need to make is do I add the prone in? Um, I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, let me know if I should add prone in the comments. The other thing, the only other animation I have not done yet is the vaulting. That's the last thing I need to finish off um, for this series is vaulting over items. But again, most of that is just... Um, uh, like an action like I don't think I don't think I'm gonna allow you to vault if you're not sprinting so you'll have to sprint over to something and then you can automatically vault or it's a case of you're walking and you vault one or the other um, so most of that will be able to go into this walking uh, animation because i don't want i don't think it makes sense to be able to vault from crouch or vault from prone um and then the rest are just offsets so none of that will uh, should be affected by just vaulting over an item uh, i could be wrong i could be wrong but um i can't imagine that this will be uh affected too much um so yeah I, i've been waffling now for like 15 minutes um as you can see the animations are near uh, next to done as i say other than vaulting and a few extra other bits they're done and we can move on to i'm, I'm going to be setting up the inventory uh, i'm also going to be setting up items and weapons we can use and then i'm going to get those weapons into hands into like equipment slots uh things like backpacks and um 
uh, weapons and clothing will all go into that system so that we can test it out. So that's probably going to be what I'm focusing on over the next week or two. Um, yeah, and hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you are, leave a little like. Uh, it really does help the channel out. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can all change your mind down the line. And for all of those that have been sticking with the channel for the last sort of year, year and a half, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I really do, I do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.